So first of all, let's create a new composition. For that, click on this new composition. Come to this preset options. From here, select this HD1080, which is a full HD resolution with a frame rate of 30 and duration of 10 seconds. Hit OK. So now let's input our text. So click on this text icon here and enter your text. Create a solid layer for Saber. So go to this layer options, new, create a solid. Let me rename this to Saber and hit OK. So now again, go to this window and enable effects and presets and look for Saber. So Saber is a free plugin. Download link in the description. Select this Saber and drop it onto this Saber layer. So come to this customize score, core type, change it to text layer and in text layer, select your text. So now in preset, change this to fire and glow intensity. I will reduce this to 20 and core size. I will reduce to five Be on the first frame, enable keyframe of this mask evolution and end offset and make this end offset to zero. So now move forward like three seconds in timeline and change this end offset value to 100 and again move two seconds forward in timeline and change this mask evolution value to three. Come to this distortion value, come to this core distortion. Here we can adjust the amount of distortion that we want on the text. So if I make this to zero, you can see there will be no distortion on the text. So I will leave this to 20 only. Once this animation is done and if you want to render this out with transparent background, come to this render settings, expand this one. Scroll down to this composite settings and here you can see it is set to black, change it to transparent. So now this is with transparent background. So if I click on this toggle transparency grid, you can see this is with transparency background. So you can hide out this text layer only to get the fire outline. Okay. So in this way, we can create this fire text animation in Adobe After Effects within a couple of minutes.